mari bergabung dengan Master Marine 1 juta video dunia maritim untuk mengenal dunia maritim jangan lupa subscribe karena subscribe itu gratis. Share dan like. Man overboard actions. The guidance given here should be understood as a general guideline. Every company will have their own man overboard emergency rescue procedures and all personnel working aboard should familiarize themselves with those procedures. A quick response time is a vital factor in the recovery of anyone falling overboard as they will very quickly recede from view. At six knots, vessel or current speed, a person will be 30 meters away in 10 seconds, 180 meters away in a minute, and almost a kilometer in five minutes. Hence, the actions to take must be practiced in regular drills, as such rehearsal is the only way to speed up the responses that are vital to the swift and safe recovery of any person in the water. US 46 Code of Federal Regulation, CFR, 122.520. Abandon ship and man overboard drills and training require that the master conduct sufficient drills to make sure that all crew members are familiar with their duties during emergencies that necessitate abandoning ship or the recovery of persons that have fallen overboard. Similarly, referring to such requirements in the SOLAS Convention, Regulation 19.3 requires that drills shall, as far as practicable, be conducted as if there were an actual emergency. It is good practice to ensure that information on local current is regularly updated and available at all times on the bridge. This means that if anyone falls overboard, even when alongside or stopped, their speed and the direction they will be carried in can be estimated. Immediate Actions Again, these procedures are offered as guidance and best practice only. Companies will have their own procedures developed to meet the specific challenges of their vessels and trades, and these must be studied and followed. The first person to notice anyone falling overboard must raise the alarm. This may be by shouting, Man Overboard, followed by which side or pressing the nearest alarm button or communicating via radio to the wheelhouse. Their duty is to keep the person in the water in sight as long as possible and inform the wheelhouse of their direction and position. A life ring or other safety flotation device should be deployed as soon as possible. One person on the bridge must be assigned to keep the person in the water in sight and keep reporting the position relative to the vessel. This task can be made very difficult when there is sun and snow glare and may need more than one person stationed at different levels to keep the person in sight. At dusk or during the night or where visibility is otherwise impaired, searchlights should be used to keep the person in sight. The watchkeeper on the bridge should immediately stop engines or slow down if steerage way needs to be maintained. The vessel's and barge's position should be recorded. GPS man overboard button should be pressed if this equipment is fitted on board the vessel. The man overboard alarm of three prolonged blasts should be sounded. The Oscar flag raised and crew members mustered. Sounding the alarm on the horn and raising the flag will also alert other vessels in the vicinity. The master or person in charge should assess the situation taking account of traffic and other circumstances and decide on a course of action. The vessel should be turned to make the best approach for recovery, based on wind and current conditions. The master must assess whether this maneuver is feasible. It may be difficult or impossible to turn due to conditions at the time. The river width and depth relative to the size of the tow is a critical factor. The presence of other traffic and obstacles in the river must also be taken account of, as must weather and visibility. Pan-pan broadcast should be made if additional assistance is required. 